Hello, I'm Jessica, one of the puppeteers from Spare Parts Puppet Theatre. We're so excited for you to see Carnival of the Animals, and we'd really like it if you could take part. So I'm going to teach you how to make and move your very own school of fish puppet using just bits and pieces that you've got around the house. I've used an old blue shopping bag, a clean tissue, some crayons and textures, some scrap paper, some leaves from the garden, a wooden spoon and some chopsticks. Your imagination is really the limit. So get everything ready and let's get started. Okay, so we've got all our bits and pieces handy and now it's time to get started. The first thing we're going to do is create our base flag that the school of fish will swim on. I'm going to use some recycled cleaned chopsticks, a wooden spoon and some scrap paper. But you could use a stick from the garden, uh, an old shopping bag, some coloured pencils that you take together or whatever else you can find lying around. So to make my handle nice and strong, I'm going to take two of these chopsticks and stick them together. I've got some sticky tape here that I've cut ready to go. So here we go. Take that one around and around and around, and then one down the bottom. Right. And then I've got a nice sturdy bit that I'm going to stick to my handle. Okay, and there we have it. A very strong handle that's going to be our control for our school of fish puppet. Next, I'm going to get started on the flag. I'm going to use some scrap paper that I've got here. I've got my four bits of paper laid out in front of me. I'm going to take the two bits that have got writing on them and face the writing in on that side. And the same with these other two bits. Okay, now this is going to be my flag. Here's the main section, which I can put to the side. And these two here, I'm going to lay them a long ways in front of me and then fold them in half long ways and just create a little crease just at one side. From here, I can draw a straight line all the way along and that will tell me where to cut to create a nice flag shape. On this side, I'm going to make wavy, like it's under the water. Now, I've got my four pieces of paper, which are eventually going to tape together like that. But first, I want to make them look like the ocean. So I'm going to colour them in with lots of beautiful blues and greens. Okay, I've got my underwater flag here. Now, next thing I'm going to do... I need to cut some holes where the bodies of the fish can be seen. And then that way I can do lots of different pretty little colours and see-through bits that go in the middle. So to do that, I'm going to fold it in half here. And then taking my scissors, I'm going to cut, oh, I might cut a diamond shape here. And I'll save that bit for later. And maybe here I might cut a nice big thin oval. So there I've got my bodies for my fish. Open that one up there. And there we've got our squiggly fish as well. Now I'm going to take the top off and pop it over there. And this is now the bit that I'll work on. These sections here we're going to fill with clear paper, plastic bags, alfoil, another different colour that you might put through, wrapping paper, lots of different things. So now I've filled in all the bodies of the fish. It doesn't matter if it looks a little bit messy on this side, because when you turn it over, you can't see the difference. So now that I've got that already, I'm going to take my cover here, 
lay that over the top. And then now it's time to stick all the pages together. Okay, so I've taped around all the edges and this one, I've taped just one side. I decided to leave this bit open so as I move it and manipulate it, it might blow in the wind. The next thing is to start decorating your fish. You could use tissues for a tail, leaves for fins like I did, or maybe some old ribbons and bits and pieces. Your imagination is really the limit, so see what you guys can do. And remember, if you don't have all of these bits and pieces at home, or if you don't feel like cutting, that's okay too. You could draw your fish out instead. All right, how'd you go? Did you make some amazing fish with some bits and pieces all from home? I'd love to see what you've made. Once you've got them, you're gonna get your handle back and we're going to tape our flag to our handle. Okay, fantastic. I hope you've made a puppet that you're very proud of. And now it's time to learn how to move it so that when the orchestra starts playing, you'll know exactly what to do. First things first, hold it by the handle. Then, depending how energetic you're feeling, you might decide that you'd like to wave it around carefully above your head like crashing waves. Or maybe you're feeling a little more gentle and then you might hold the handle and hold the end of your school of fish and move them like they're swimming in waves through the water. To do that one, I've got the handle in one hand and I'm holding the end with the other, and I move my hands back and forth like this. It might help for you to think about what it feels like to swim through the water, and what it might feel like for a whole school of fish to suddenly dart one way and then dart the next. There's lots of things you can do, so use your imagination, and we'd love to see your performance as well. So don't forget to get one of your adults to film it and send it in. Thanks, have fun.